guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys if you have a mazda vehicle any mazda diesel or gas engine and you have a valve lifter noise guys we'll show you what it sounds like how to fix it and what needs to be done to fix that noise guys stay with us we'll go ahead to show you on this car he has a four cylinder engine valve lifter noise as well stay with us and we'll demonstrate what it sounds like and how to fix it in the meantime guys we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return subscribe to the channel like the video and drop a comment below so let's start on the process now so we'll go ahead guys on this Mazda, it has a 4 cylinder 2.3 engine, we'll go ahead, start the engine, show you what it sounds like and then we'll continue explaining what needs to be done. So let's go ahead and start it now. Okay, you're going to hear that ticking sound now, tick, 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 tick. Okay, that's valve lifter noise guys, right there guys. You'll be coming from the top end of the cylinder head, that's valve lifter noise. So you guys heard what the car sounds like, now we're going to explain guys what needs to be done okay, to replace valve lifters and we'll explain what causes that, uh, okay, that noise on Mazda. Now most Mazdas past 1980s guys, uh, most of them will use the double overhead cam engine, it means you have two camshafts on the four cylinder engines, uh, even the V6s in the US they have a double camshaft. And you will have most likely if it's a four cylinder 16 valves or 8 valves, doesn't matter guys how many you have. Okay, that noise, if it's coming from the top end of the engine, most likely it's a valve lifter noise. The one that sounds like tick, 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 you know, that's valve lifter noise. Now, we'll explain, guys, okay, where the valve lifters are located, and then we'll explain what causes that. So, first, guys, this engine completely apart. Why? Because in order to get to the valve lifters, guys, what you need to do now, okay, you need to go ahead and remove the valve cover. After you remove your valve cover, guys, you will need to remove the timing cover of the engine. So let me explain to you, this is your valve cover, okay, right here, this is valve cover of your engine, this is the timing cover. The timing cover is on the side of the engine, but in order to remove that timing cover, guys, often, okay, you will need to remove accessories such as power steering pump, water pump or alternator. You never know. After that guys, you're going to remove the timing chain, okay, and once you remove the timing chain or a timing belt, okay, some Mazdas have timing belts, no of them have chains but the procedure is the same, okay, if you have timing chain you remove the timing cover, if you have a timing belt you're going to remove the belt, okay, without removing timing cover, and after that guys, you're going to remove your camshafts. Okay, you have two of them on this four-cylinder 16-valve engine. Under your camshafts, guys, okay, you have, okay, those, they look like caps, okay, right here. This is between the camshaft and the valve stem, guys, right here. This is the valve stem in the center, this is the valve spring. This is the, uh, it's known as a valve tappet or valve lifter, guys. Valve tappet or valve lifter and many different names as well, lash adjuster as well, so many different things. So, this thing guys, okay, contacts, okay, right, uh, when you install your camshaft, okay, camshaft here, when the valves are closed, the, diff the, the gap, okay, between, the distance between that uh, valve lifter and the camshaft, okay, for every engine is different, but it's usually like 0.1 or point. Uh, two of the millimeters, so very small distance guys and if the distance is too much what will cause that okay that lifter will start okay playing okay we have play between the camshaft and the valve lifter and as a result you're going to hear knocking that knocking is your valve lifters being loose in addition okay they can lo get loose in the head here you can see they uh, get wore out on the sides okay check out how this one is wore out in the middle uh, now those are uh, manual, manual valve adjust, adjusters, you can see in the number on this one it says 462, this is the thickness of that. If the gap between the camshaft and the valve is too big with your uh, lifters, you need to install a bigger lifter. Okay, for instance on, uh, okay, on this one right here, let me show you. Okay, we have a number 502 guys, 502 on the very bottom, which means that it's a little bit thicker okay valve lifter 
so this is for the manual ones you have to measure and all that we have the video on the channel but we're just explaining today what is causing that uh, valve lifter noise now some of them are uh, hydraulic hydraulic lifters hydraulic lifters they usually have holes oil flows through them and it adjusts the okay the gap between the camshaft and the valve automatically okay driven by the oil pressure now they do get bad as well why because they get wore out they don't keep oil pressure they don't hold oil pressure and they get wore out especially and uh, especially if if your oil guys is uh, need to be replaced or if you have old oil in the car you will notice more valve ticking okay that uh, valve lifter ticking so you can see guys that's uh, that's on mazda about valve lifter noise Hopefully the video will be helpful, we will have specific videos on uh, quite a few cars, how to replace those and all that stuff from start to finish, usually takes at least 2-3 hours work. So hopefully guys the video will be helpful, please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time.